everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about describing the set of integers and identifying real life situations that make use of it. Okay, so what is integer? So integers are all natural numbers known as counting numbers. The negatives, opposites, additive inverse, and the number zero is also included. Integer has no fraction or decimals, such as 3 fourth or 265 thousandths. So yung integer, hindi kasama dyan yung fraction and decimal numbers. Okay, so let's take a look at the number line. So ito yung number line. So makikita natin dyan ay negative integer tsaka positive integer wherein 0 is neither negative nor positive. So yung 0 going to the right, yan yung mga positive numbers. And from 0, yan yung reference point natin going to the left side, those are negative numbers. Okay? So on the number line, opposite are the same distance from 0 but on different sides of 0. So, yung 0, yung papunta sa right side, pare-pareho ang distance yan. The same din yung from 0 to negative numbers, pare-pareho ang distance yan. So, additive inverse property of numbers that if you add opposites, your sum will be 0. So, pagka in daw natin, let's say for example, negative 4 plus yung kabaliktara ng negative 4, which is positive 4, so, pag in natin yan, the answer is 0. So, another example is negative 5 plus 5 is equals to 0. Okay, so another example is negative 6 plus positive 6. The answer is 0. So, for another example is negative 7 plus positive 7. The answer is 0. Okay, so that is what we call the additive inverse property. Okay, so let's have another example. So, have some practice. Name a positive or negative number to present each situation. So, ito yung mga situations, 1 to 5. So, gagawa tayo ng negative number or positive number based on the given situation. So, let's say for example, number 1, a plane climbing to an altitude of 10,000 feet. So, ang given natin dyan is 10,000 feet. So, we are going to name a positive or negative number. So, ito yung number. So, that is climbing to an altitude of 10,000 feet. So, ano yung, ano yung number na yan? Is that a positive or negative? Okay, so that is, is, that is positive 10,000. Okay, bakit pa positive 10,000? Okay, so kasi pag climbing, that is going up. So, pag climbing, pag going up, that is always positive. Okay? Siguro, alam nyo na, pag going down or below, that is negative. Okay, let's take number 2. Taking 1,000 pesos out of the bank. Okay, 1,000. Is that a positive 1,000 or negative 1,000? May pera ka sa bangko. Kumuha ka or nag-withdraw ka ng 1,000. Ano nangyari? Nabawasan yung pera sa bangko. So, that is, what, positive 1,000 or negative 1,000? Okay, that is negative 1,000. Kasi ka, binawasan mo. Okay? You take, you take away. So, negative 1,000. Next, number 3, 200 feet below C. Okay, that is C, that is letter A, C level. Okay, C level. So, below. Pag below, sabi ko kanina, that is negative negative 200 pag pababa. Okay. A hiker climbing to an altitude of 6,000 feet. So, climbing again. So, pag climbing, pataas. So, that is positive 6,000. Another one, spending 5,000. Spend. So, gumastos ka. So, that is negative 5,000. Okay. Okay. So, learning task 1, name a positive or Negative number integer to represent each situation. Okay, so number one, saving 25 pesos. Is that a positive 25 or negative 25? So, nag-save ka. 
no? So, nag-save ka. So, that is positive 25. 6 feet below the ground. So, below, pababa. Okay. So, that is negative 6. And then, number 3, what is the opposite of negative 6? So, of course, that is, opposite ng negative 6 is positive 6. When a player, number 4 tayo, when a player to a basketball team shot the ball and gained 3 points ahead against their opponent. So, sabi yan, gained. Okay? So, nadagdagan. So, is that a positive 3 or negative 3? Gained. So, pag gained, that is positive 3. Okay, and number 5. What is the sum of negative 8 and positive 8? Okay, very good. That's 0. Okay, so let's have these exercises. Identify the following expression. Write integers or not integers in the given expression below. Okay, so number 1, negative 3 and positive 4. Is this integers or not integers? The answer is... Okay, very good. These are integers. Okay? Kasi sabi nga natin, ang integers are composed of negative numbers and positive numbers. Okay, next. Number 2, 437 thousands. This is a decimal number. Is this an integers or not integers? Okay, so that is not, not integers. Okay, why? That's because this is a decimal number. So, decimal number don't belong to integers. Okay, number three. Okay, three-fourth. This is a fraction. Is this an integers or not? Okay, so, not integers kasi fraction yan. Number four. Is this an integer? Okay, yes, this is an integer. So, that is very easy to identify. Integers and not integers. So, madali lang, di ba? Pagka fraction, not integers. Pagka decimal number, not integers yun. Okay? Okay, so let us try to look at this again. Ito yung tinatawag nating number line. So, sa left side, that is our negative numbers. And then, yung right side, those are positive numbers. So, ang gitna natin, that is zero. That is neither negative or positive. So, pag tinignan natin from zero... Then, positive 1, positive 2. Habang lumalayo sa 0, lumalaki yung number. Okay? So, naturally, yung 2 mas malaki sa 1. Okay? 3 is bigger or larger than 1. And 7 is larger than 4. 10 is larger than uh, 8. And so on. So, habang lumalayo sila sa 0, yung positive numbers, palaki ng palaki yung value. Okay? Now, from 0 to left side, so, 0, negative 1, then negative 2, what do you think? Pareho din kaya? Okay, so hindi. So, habang lumalayo ang negative number sa 0, lumiliit ang kanyang value. Lumiliit. So, meaning to say, dito sa mga negative numbers na present dito, ang pinakamalaking value sa kanila is negative 1. So, ang negative 1 is bigger than negative 2. A negative 2, mas malaki yung value kaysa sa negative 3. So, dito sa given natin, ang pinakamaliit dyan ay negative 10. So, what do you think? Aling kaya mas malaki? Negative 10 o 0? Okay, mas malaki yung 0. Okay? Kasi malayo na yung negative 10. Alam mas malaki? 0 o negative 1? Siyempre, 0 pa rin. Kasi, yung negative 1 ay sumunod lang sa 0. Okay? So, Okay, so basta tatandaan lang natin na sa positive numbers habang lumalayo sila sa zero sa number line ay mas malaki ng palaki ng palaking value. Unlike sa negative numbers habang lumalayo sila sa zero, paliit ng paliit yung value. Okay? So Let's proceed. Okay, so learning task 3. Arrange the following integers from greatest to least or vice versa. So, i-arrange natin siya from, ano sabi? From greatest to least. Ano yung greatest? Malaki. Pinakamalaki. So, tingnan natin kung alin ang pinakamalaki dyan. So, we have negative 4, 
5, positive 5, negative 6, 0, positive 2, and positive 6. So, siguro mas maganda paghiwalay natin, no? Or kayo bahala. So, kung titignan natin, uunahin natin kung pinakamalaki ang hahanapin natin, syempre, yung positive numbers ang pinakamalaki. So, meron tayong positive 5, meron tayong 0, may positive 2, may positive 6. So, syempre, lagi, tandaan natin, remember that positive numbers are always greater than negative numbers. Okay? Mas malaki lagi ang positive numbers kesa sa negative numbers. So, kaya unahin natin yung 5, positive 5, 0, 2, 6. So, alin ang pinakamalaki dyan? So, 5, 0, 2, and 6. Okay, so, syempre, 6. So, unang 6. And then, sumunod. Mas maliit sa 6 is, okay, 5. And then, sumunod, syempre, 2. And then, sumunod, of course, 0. So, papunta, paliit na tayo. So, syempre, mas maliit yung negative numbers. So, meron tayong negative 4 and negative 6. So, alin na mas maliit? Yung negative 4 o yung negative 6? Okay. So, mas maliit ang negative 6. So, mas malaki yung negative 4. So, mauna yung negative 4. And then, huli yung negative 4. 6. Okay, so in negative 6 ang pinakamaliit sa lahat. So, that is how you arrange uh, integers from greatest to least. Okay? Okay, so basta tatanda natin na mas maliit ang negative number, mas malaki siya. Mas malaki ang number ng negative number, mas maliit ang value. Kaya kung titingnan natin tong negative 4 tsaka negative 6 so, mas malaki ma ang ano niya, ang number, mas maliit ang value. Mas maliit ang number, mas malaki ang value. Okay? So, arrange naman natin from least to greatest. So, least to greatest least to Greatest meaning, pinakamaliit. Siyempre, babalik tayo lang natin. So, ang pinakamaliit sa kanila ay negative 6. And then, negative 4. And then, 0. And then, 2. And then, 5. At ang biggest ay 6. Okay? Okay, so let's have another example. So, arrange the following integers from greatest to least or vice versa. So, greatest to least, again, greatest to list. Yung greatest, pinakamalaki. So, analyze natin. So, ulitin ko. Unahin natin, pag greatest to list, yung greatest, so, syempre, mga positive numbers. So, unahin natin. Anong ba yung mga positive numbers dito? So, we have 8, uh, 1, 7, and then 4. So, dyan tayo kukuha ng greatest. So, alin ang pinakamalas? Pinakamalaki, the bigger one. 8, 1, 7, or 4. Okay, very good. 8. And then, after ng 8, I, okay, 7, and then, yes, 4, and then, that is 1. Okay? So, sa mga next one, wala na, okay na yung positive numbers, so, na negative numbers sa tayo, yan ay maliliit. So, alin ang pinaka malaki dyan? Sa negative numbers. So, we have negative 10, negative 3, and negative 5. So, alin ang pinakamalaki dyan? Siyempre, yung nakuunahin natin kasi paliit siya. So, alin kaya? So, tandaan natin ha. The bigger the number, the smaller the value. Okay? So, alin ang pinakamalaki dyan sa tatlo? Okay. So, that is negative 3. So, yan ang pinakamalaki. Next is negative Okay, very good. 5. And last one is negative 10. So, pinakamaliit ay negative 10. So, kung babalik tayo natin, starting from the least to greatest, syempre, babalik tayo rin natin. Pinakamaliit, least ay negative 10. And then, yes, negative 5. Then, negative 3. And then, 1. And then 4, and then 7, and the greatest is 8. Okay? So, naintindihan ba natin? Naintindihan ba? Okay, so very good.
If you have any questions, just write down sa comments below. And next time, we're going to have more samples of uh, integers. Okay, so this is the end of the lesson. So, hope you learned something. Uh, goodbye, everyone. And see you next time. Thank you.